Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Battle Chasers Night War. Alright, so I leveled everyone up to 10 off screen. So, let's take a look at everyone. So, perks, we did get some new perks. All defense up rank 2 increases physical and magical defense by 10.8%. And AP up rank 2 increases attack power by 5.4%. And... I've got seven points remaining, so not enough to actually equip those, unless I want to... Oh, I forgot we also got these. Uh, so we've got Swift Cleanse 2, now gives Calibrato 5 Overcharge for each stack of a debuff that is cleansed. That's actually a good way to to get a bunch of Overcharge. Guy's Fist 2 increases the healing allies and target it by 8. Hmm. Um... That again, that that's a lot. Um But really the all defense up is a good thing. So we're gonna do that for Calbretto. Skills. He's learned his second uh, dungeon ability, which is a cannon shot, fires a projectile that will damage enemies and put an ignite debuff on them for the next battle. Six charges. And then combat abilities we already had we have healing touch heal an ally for 70 health and then heal an additional 46 health over four turns stacks three times and then we also have his level two burst which is flame slug deal 66 magic damage to all enemies ignites them for 34 magic damage over four turns not not bad not bad let's take a look at Gully, she has got haste rank up, or haste up two, AP rank two, armor up rank two increases physical defense by 21.6%, and then barrier swing two increases the power of damage shield portion of barrier swing by 11. And again, only six points at the moment, so I could... I could get rid of that and add that. That's that's really but I mean also that haste rank up is also pretty nice. Haste is really powerful. But let's see. Skills, she got her second uh, dungeon skill, which is stone skin. Become immune to dungeon damage and increase defense when entering combat while it lasts. Stone skin is dangerous. I love it. Um, it really does make tanking a lot of things really interesting. Uh, and combat abilities. We've got, we've got guard punch, 76 damage, shield, and well, heroism. Place a damage shield on all allies that absorbs 90 damage on hit. Unfortunately, it's a slow ability. Her rank 2 ability is boulder toss. For her burst gauge, hits all enemies, dealing 85 damage to each enemy and stunning them for a short time. The stun is actually quite powerful, so that's that's nice to have. And then we have Garrison. Start with his perks. Crit chance up rank 2, increases crit by 5.4%. Attack power by 5.4%. Haste by 5.4%, or cleave 2, lowers the base damage from 57 to 40, but adds a bleed that deals 39 piercing damage over 4 turns. Interesting. But I don't think I'm gonna mess with that. Let's see. Um, Warblade, AP, second wind, start strong. Uh, if rally crits, I uh, don't want to worry about that until I can get way more crit. Carry up to 10 overcharge from the next battle. Um, I am going to do that. Skills. His second ability is Flash Bind. Or Flash Blind, rather. Throws a flash bomb, blinding any creatures struck, affected enemies, enter combat, stunned. The stun is actually kind of nice, but it's really difficult to actually aim while you're being chased by an enemy. You kind of got to get the drop on them. And combat abilities, we have Rupture. Deals 36 damage to target is sundered or poisoned. It also adds a bleed, dealing 126 damage over 5 turns. 
stacks three times. His level two burst, Relentless Assault, increases the critical chance of all allies by 60% for the next two actions. Garrison will immediately act again after using Relentless Assault. So it's basically, everyone gets 60% uh, crit uh, increase uh, and a free turn. <laughs> So, not bad. That's, so Garrison has a lot of really interesting crit builds, is what I've seen. Uh, in, in fact, that's, that's, tends to be the more predominant build for him. But I don't know how I'm going to play him yet. We're still rather early. So, alright. We're going to go along the Siege Coast. We did get something about someone fishing along the northern end of the siege coast. This is not the right way to go. The, no, that is not. I did a lot of grinding around here, so I don't know how many enemies are really going to be left. Um, a couple. Alright, there's the point break cantina and a battle that we've kind of got to get into. But that's okay. It's going to take a second to load. But, you know, we've, we've been doing... Oh, goody. That's a lot of bad guys. Um... And you're all level 9. And I only have a level 1 burst gauge. I didn't go back and do that. Damn it! Alright. We are going to beat the crap out of you... a lot. And you are going to be my tank, because that's what you do. Alright, that's good. Evade up is fine. And I can only do rank one, so let's just keep bleeding him. Oh, right, he's got that. Let's do that and and fix fix some of that. That'll heal Gully and get rid of that bleed effect. I really don't want that bleed effect. Uh, defend, because you've still got the the taunt. Good, good job. Oh, you think you're clever. You really think you're clever. They actually do think they're very clever. They are, uh, they are making this rather difficult for me. Alright, you are pissing me off with that evade up. And you're pissing me off with the amount of damage you're capable of doing. Alright, you've got rank 2 bleed, that'll help. Just, just die. Just, just die. I do need to heal Gully, though. Like, ra rather quickly. And... You'll die your next action. Abilities... Um... Yeah, need to heal. Um... Defend. All right, good. One, one is dead. That's where we want. You are just becoming a pain in my ass. I'm, I'm gonna stab you in the face, and you are going to regret this. All right. In fact, I'm just going to start stabbing you in the face. Let's heal Gully again. She kind of needs it. Ow. I... Not what I wanted to do. Damn it. I also need to have Gully uh, taunt, because she's not taunting at the moment. That's okay. She doesn't seem to be taking any damage at them. Oh, there we go. It's like, oh, that was a lot of damage. You, you bleed. Yeah, you bleed a lot. 
And I really just need to keep healing Gully because holy crap. This is, this is... There we go. That That's some reasonable health. Alright, um... Let's see. I I really just want you to die. Really just want you to die. I don't I don't want you to Why did you get healed? All right, you do that. That's when I take that damage and we're going to do a little bit of an AoE heal. You guys are, 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 are all defense up, you say? Well. And, no, just keep focusing on Gully. That's fine. He's, ah, damn it, he's going to have a lot of, uh, let's see. Um. Just do some damage there and defend. Because you're going to attack Gully. And only 18 HP. That's fine. That bleed effect, however, is going to suck. But there we go. Some reasonable amount of damage. Ouch. And more bleed. And more health. We have not made any progress this episode so far. Because these guys are dangerous. Uh da -da -da -da. Defend. Heart bleed. Alright, well I need to go back to town anyway. So that's just what I'm going to do. I need to go back to town to get my level 2 first gauge so that I can have my second ability. Because that would have made this fight go just a hair bit quicker. Just a, just a smidge. Alright. Yeah, we're going to go back to town. We're going to get our level 2 burst. Because now we should be at, you know an appropriate point to where she will give us the level 2 burst, and I'm also going to stay at the end and heal. I actually, I did die during my grinding. I died once. I got into a fight with multiple earth elementals, and they did that rain ability, that stone rain ability, and like did... You're alive. Like, like 500 points of damage. You're getting stronger. You have untapped potential. Really? I think we know. Wild type of wild instinct. More powerful than you realize. Battle bursts. Focus, and you'll find your burst meter can reach new levels. <laughs> All right. So now we have battle burst gauge level two, which is helpful. Yeah, All right. Have a seat. Um, one, I'm gonna, we're gonna switch Calbretto out for you, and, uh, I'm going to heal, is what I'm going to do. Stay a while. Stay a while, and listen. That's, that's the joke. Where's Bretto? I sent him to gather some firewood. The inn's got plenty of wood downstairs. Yeah, hopefully we'll make it back before he figures it out. Back from where? I heard him talk about there being trouble on the road tonight. And, well, I thought a little trouble might do us both some good. Aw, oh, he's taking her out on a... a, a mission! I mean, Bretto's gonna blow a fuse when he finds out. Let's go crack some skulls. Then, bedtime. Aw! 
It's so adorable. It actually really is so adorable seeing the uh, the interaction between Gully and, and Garrison. Oh, goody. Now we get to get into other fights on the way there, because... Oh, I hope this doesn't just completely pose me. Okay, it's just it's two regulators. That's... That's slightly more doable. Especially since, you know, one's already dead. However, that's gonna bite me in the ass, cause damn it! Maybe I should find out if, you know, doing a status effect would, uh, uh, affect things. All right, you're a pain in my ass. Stop that. Just, just die. There we go. Yeah, I took a fair bit of damage from that, but yay. All right, I want to get to where we need to go uh, before I have to end this episode, because that, that took a lot of, a lot of time. Okay. Make our way down here. Another fight. Same place as before. But only one regulator. Okay. And... Swift Strike. Abilities. Mass Heal. Glad I used that then. Okay. And that'll heal... Perfect. And you'll die. And that undoes some of the healing, but uh, you take what you can get. Alright. Ooh, a power cell. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Alright, so here we go. We are at the next dungeon, which is Junk Town. And yeah, we'll just do average. It's fine. Enter the dungeon. Alright, it seems to be taking a second to load the dungeon. There we go. That was one of the only complaints about this game, is even being on the Switch, uh, or the digital version, the load times were a little long. Uh, when I when the game first released, uh, the, the load times were actually a fair bit longer. There were uh, several patches that have, have patched that down. Uh, it's still a, a bit long in areas, but it's nowhere near what it was. So... Uh, that, I think, just had to deal with various console optimization issues. Uh, the PS... I want to say the PS4 got its uh, update first, and then the Xbox. And then all of the versions came... Uh, or all of the updates came to the Switch. Because since the Switch version came out so much later, it, uh... It had the time to go ahead and get all of the things without having to be patched, so... It just came pre-patched. It was nice. I, I, was, I will say that um, the Switch version was so worth the wait. It is so fun to just be able to, to uh, pop the Switch out of the dock and go do some of the the grinding that I need to do and not have to be at my desk or at my, my recording setup to do that. Um, it is really nice. That is really the ultimate advantage of the Switch uh, for me, really. All right. So now we are in the Junk Town Dungeon. And this place is interesting. It's like a combination beach and junkyard, but also a little bit Margaritaville. There won't be any trouble from this guy. Of all the ladders you've seen, this one seems to be quite sturdy and made out of take the ladder. So now I have a ladder. Alright, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this episode here before I get too far involved. Um, because this is the, the thing. We need to get a password in order to get into this room. Where are we going to get that? Bandits aren't the brightest bunch. If we look hard enough or ask the right questions, we're bound to find it. 
Maybe we can ask one politely what it is. One of these guys must have stashed it somewhere. These things always come in threes. So there are three parts to the, the password. So we have to go find the clues, what what they are. So yeah, uh, before I get into this, that's what we needed to figure out. And I will see you all in the next installment. So till then, later everyone.